Hi, it's Nani, and welcome to the Chronicles of Nani. This is about my life with primary progressive MS and living in a wheelchair because MS took my legs away from me, but it gave me six wheels, so I can still get around and do stuff, and I'm still able to smile, which I think is important if you have MS, any chronic illness, this is a place for you to get some ideas um, and share some ideas because God knows I don't know everything. Uh, and I would love to hear some suggestions from other people for things that you can do to make life a little brighter, a little better. Uh, and you can definitely do that if you hit that subscribe button that's right below the screen. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, if you're not watching on YouTube, stop over at YouTube because I think there's usually a button that you can uh, click on to get over to YouTube and subscribe. And then you can go back and watch it however you normally watch. But the subscriber number going up is a good thing. Hit the subscribe button. And the little bell next to the subscribe button also means that you'll get an email saying, Hey, there's going to be a new vlog. Cyber coffee shot. Still going to have my coffee. Okay, and I don't even know if you can see the whole uh, mug. Uh, the mug was uh, from a Christmas box in 2013 uh, from my brother and sister-in-law, uh, which is a phrase that Laura coined to describe me, and I absolutely love that phrase. Uh, not sister-in-law, but sister-in-love. Uh, you know, Dave's choice, yeah, my choice too. Uh, and and I, I love that phrase, and I'm going to continue using that when I refer to my sis as my sister in love, because uh, I think that's just awesome. Uh, but in 2013, they had given me a box with sunshines all over it uh, for Christmas. And everything in the box was yellow. There were all kinds of neat things. I mean, the first thing that I pulled out of the box was um, yellow cake mix. And of course, the suggested serving was with chocolate frosting. So yeah, I could do yellow cake with chocolate frosting, a yellow highlighter. So there were some really nice things and there were some just fun things in there too. But one of the really cool things in there was my Ray of Sunshine coffee mug, which by the way, does fit perfectly in the cup holder in my wheelchair uh, so I can take it with me and be that ray of sunshine or at least be reminded to be that ray of sunshine every place I go. But today I'm going to show off outtakes, uh, things that would normally have been considered things on the cutting room floor. Uh, which in the world of digital, nothing goes away. Uh, and, and the cool thing about that is when the editor is going through stuff and it, in order to make it not an excessively long vlog, um, there are things that, well, this is really cool, but it's got to be cut out. We can't use it. Um, and those things are saved in a folder uh, that's called cool stuff I'd like to use in another time. Well, for some of those things, today is another time. Uh, and I'm going to share some things that are informative, some things that are entertaining, uh, and just little pieces that got cut out of other vlogs. Uh, but you're going to get to see those pieces today. What's in a name? Uh, I'm a big Shakespeare fan, 
most of the people who uh, watch this vlog uh, all the time know that. Uh, and if you don't know that, you know it now. Uh, hit that subscribe button and you find out all sorts of fascinating things. Uh, but this is from the I Need a Millennial vlog that I did in April of this year, 2021. Uh, and it talks a little bit more about uh, what's in a name. And it's a little more than Shakespeare. My mother started calling me Nani when I was in high school. Uh, and she uh, called me Nani because... My name, Devana, putting a V in a name is probably one of the cruelest things you can do to a child because that's one of the hardest letters to pronounce. So when I was a child, I called myself Dainana uh, until I could learn to pronounce that V. Uh, and when I was in high school, my mother came up with the nickname Nani. Uh, and she called me Nani based on what I called myself when I was a child. I have since learned, and this is very nice, uh, that in Hawaiian, the word Nani is beautiful, uh, which I enjoy that. And someday, if I get to Hawaii, there actually is a town called Nani in Hawaii and signs all over the place uh, that tell you something is beautiful as Nani this and Nani that. And I want to have my picture taken next to Nani signs in Hawaii. Um, but I've also found out that in Japanese the word Nani means huh? Um, whether it's beautiful or huh? Uh, I think there are some days where Nani is beautiful and some days where Nani is, huh? Where I'm concerned anyway. Um, so the meanings of names or the, the where names came from is important to me. That's part of my historical thing it is liking the uh, where things started and seeing where they go from there. Nani, a speed demon? Um, okay, if you've ever heard me talk about uh, how I can set my uh, power wheelchair on a good clean surface and just go really fast and slam on the joystick and it'll turn around in a circle. All right, maybe you might believe it. Uh, but anyway, this is from Remember the very first story time vlog that I did that the editor decided it needs to be in two pieces because it's just way too long. This was actually a piece that was cut out of that um, because it wasn't long enough, right? Uh, but this talks a little bit about Nani and speed. And let me tell you. That when you are on a freeway in the middle of the week, in the middle of the day, and there's hardly anybody on the freeway, and you're in your uh, schnazzy sports car because uh, you've gotten to one end of the state to turn in rain checks to get uh, baseball tickets uh, for a game that, you, that was rained out, and then as you're driving home, there is another team on the way home off the same freeway. Uh, th that has a day game. So it was, how fast can I get from Grand Rapids to Battle Creek to get in for the day game and, and go to the day game? And as I'm driving down on a beautiful sunny day and the, um, the uh, I-96 uh, was nice and smooth where I was driving and there wasn't a lot of traffic and I'm just driving and I start to notice the boy things on the side of the road are moving awful fast. And I look down and, and it's, oh my goodness, it's 110. I better slow down. If I pass a cop, I'm never getting to the ball game. Um, 
and it was it's amazing to think that I went from 30 miles an hour was awful scary to 110 miles of oh crap I'm gonna get pulled over and miss the ball game um, and of course when it comes right down to it missing a ball game really important now we're gonna call this half time uh, or cat time uh, we're gonna take a break now from uh, me talking and I'm gonna show off some cat stuff uh, that'll please all of the searching for cats uh, on YouTube because cats own the uh, internet anyway so and they definitely own YouTube if you don't believe that go to a cat video channel and see the subscriber number uh, so cat time they call me prince like I'm royalty or something but the places I've lived ain't no palaces so I don't need grilled salmon or a new scratching post. Just give me a cardboard box and a can of tuna and we're good. You can even change my name. I'm cool being the kitty formerly known as Prince. I'm recording. <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed the cat videos. Uh, I know that I did. I'm a little biased. They're my cats. Uh, but uh, it's a nice break. This next clip is from Self Help Group's blog that I did in June um, uh, of this year, 2021. Uh, and it's an interesting uh, bit of information. Uh, and didn't quite make the final cut. Uh, it's becoming something that's more common. Now, I, I don't believe that's because MS is on the rise. I think that's because their ability to actually diagnose it and figure out what's wrong is what's on the rise. So it, I don't think, my, my personal opinion, not a doctor, not a scientist. This is just my opinion, but that they're getting better at detecting it and being able to help. Um, not that the disease is on the rise, but just diagnosing it is. I know that I've said it before that everybody should have something that uh, always makes them happy that reminds them to be happy. Um, I have several things that I, I can look around the room and I've got um, a doll that my friend Edna made for me uh, that I absolutely love the doll and I can see it all the time. 
and it makes me remember that I am loved, that there's somebody that cares. Um, and, and I have lots of little things that are gifts from friends uh, that remind me that, yes, I am loved. I am lovable. Uh, I, I am, there, there are people that care. Uh, and no matter how awful I'm feeling uh, about things about me on a given day, that that reminds me that, no, you're important and that I've got to find that good in inside of me uh, because even if I don't feel like it's there, there are plenty of people that know it's there and they are worth finding that person they see because they're the ones who see the best in me and on days where I can't find the best in me they're the ones who save me and that's going to be it for this week I hope you've enjoyed uh, the clips uh, that were on the cutting room floor and now they're not uh, because Everything deserves a second chance if it didn't make it to the first chance. Always remember that, too. Uh, and I will see you next Friday, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning if you want to see the premiere. But the Cyber Coffee Shop is open 24 and 7, and we can have coffee together anytime. And now we're going to end things this week just a little bit different than usual. I'm going to say goodbye and see you next week. And we're going to end with one more cat video.